Hey, what's up? I just got the new Propex HS 2800 heater and I am going to put it in the bus. Um, so it's a thermostat controlled propane unit and this is everything that comes in the box. I will say the instructions are kind of lame to be honest, but basically what I think happens is you need to mount this where, you know, there's not a bunch of crap around it. It's got these two little deals here and they both got to come out of the vehicle. It's got a fuse, thermostat control, piping for the heat to come out. And you just hook it up to 12 volt propane, blah, blah, blah. Just got these connected. Just put these Phillips in here. Put these little brackets on them. Bam. So let me show you how I'm trying to find location. So I know I want to mount it under here, right? And I've got these two things that are coming down. I wanted to push this back, but under here. So I've got all this clear space here and then I've got this space here where I could have the exhaust come down and out but I got this thing right here so I took my tape measure and that's the back of the vehicle right there and at about 12 inches it clears this so I'm gonna go up there and measure 12 inches off the body so, off the body, it'll come down about 12 inches, so that way I make sure I have the clearance. So, I'm going to set it up, pop them holes through. Propex gives you this cool little template thing to drill your holes right here. So I measured 12 inches off the wall, the edge of that hole right there, and then I did three and a half from that wall to the edge of the unit on both sides to keep it square. So let's pre-drill it. Just drilled the pilot holes. Let's see if everything's where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah. Right here. And right here. And we're plenty away from that. All vacuumed up. Boom. Let's see if this fits through. good it's good to go I forgot to tell you something so whenever you draw or do anything with metal and you have raw metal exposed it's not good I just drilled holes through there right so I put my little paper down drill on it you always want to seal metal or it will rust so I got this little clear stuff and I'm just gonna spray those holes real quick before I start mounting all this stuff to keep it from rusting and corroding with water and moisture and stuff going through them holes. So we got a problem. Propex gives you these hose clamps with the exhaust deals here and they're too small for the fittings. I've been down here fighting them for I don't know how long. So Julie is going to go get me a little bit bigger ones and I'm going to keep installing that just slowed me down. Propex fail. Just got the heater mounted and the exhaust mounted. So check it out. There's the heater and then the exhaust is coming through. Let me show you. Ah. Exhaust is coming through right there. And then you got to keep them apart. So one's going out there. One's going out over there, and then I'm waiting for Julie to get me a hose clamp so I can clamp that on right there. And I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. One second. So, I don't know, I think it looks kind of ghetto, but whatever, right? So, there's Schoolyana right there, and then you got them two. Which, if you're looking at them, you're like, what the fuck is this? Or not, what is that? And it's just two little deals you're supposed to keep them all angled down so moisture just drips out or whatever and then you're supposed to have a distance between them so i hope that's enough day two propex heater install got a few things i want to make you guys aware of okay so the only thing to hook the propane up for the propex they give you is this little dude right here right so i had no idea how to hook 
propane up to that, right? Somebody said a copper tube and then it smashes, whatever, right? How do I hook that to a propane tank? I don't know. Let's pop a lopping. So I just hooked up the thermostat. So as you can see, it's right there. So what I did is I used the hole saw, popped the hole through there, and then I just screwed. This just sits on top of the hole. Can you see in there? Oh, anyways, there's screws. I just screwed this to the wall, put the little uh, wiring harness through the hole. It covers the hole. And wiring harness comes through here. And then I connected it here. And then I'm using the little uh, zip tie screw holder things. And I've kind of lined it all through here. And I'm going to bring it back into my garage area where the heater is at. So let me hop back there. There's my thing and I'm cleaning it up. Boom. And I'm going to. And then I've, I'm going to clean up the wiring at the end because I have some other wires to hook up for power for this. So that wiring harness comes in here and boom, connects right there. So, so just wired it up and I'm going to show you what I did so you can see how I did that. So connected the stuff in there and then I used 3M like mounting zip tie things, routed it, uh, thermostat's going up there. And then our power, or our thermostat is going through here, and then our power is coming up along here. And I used zip tie hole things. And then right here, I ran out of wire. So I had to splice into it and add wire. And now my wire is coming over here. Comes to my fuse blocks heater. And then the negative is going over to the bus bar. Boom. What's up? Just got the ducting in. Uh, first tip, just get a three and a quarter inch hole saw and you're going to save yourself a lot of problems. I didn't want to buy a hole saw to use it one time and not ever use it again. So I did it the ghetto way. What I did is I took this filter or this vent thing and I took a pencil, uh, traced around it and then took a drill drilled holes all up in it and then took a jigsaw tried to cut it out problem is my jigsaw was going up against all this crap it's kind of a ghetto hole but i got it done got the the vents outlet thing drilled in and then i hooked up my ducting and what i did is i used ducting tape heat tape so i slipped this on here put the tape on it sealed around it then I put the hose clamp on, ran it through here. Back there, I didn't do a hole. I just cut a square to run it through, and I'm going to hop through the back and show you that. All right, so I used a square and cut a three and a half inch square. Um, come on, focus, baby. Anyways, here, popped this through here, plumbed it through here, hooked it up to the heater, and I used that same... Uh, ducting tape seal tape basically tape this to it to create a seamless seal then put a hose clamp on it that sucker is tight uh, but you know the part in the uh, in the book where it says have a professional install the propane I ended up going to a propane store today and apparently you have to have a two-stage regulator going into your deal and these are called British threads. So I had to get an adapter for these British threads to go into all American stuff. So it took me all day to get the propane stuff. Ended up going to a shop who knew what they were talking about. Now, as you can see, that light's on, it's ignited, and everything's good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm done with my install video. I know it's a little funky because I don't really have a tri I don't really want to hook up a tripod and all that stuff, but it's all hooked up. I showed you kind of how I did it, and I wanted to make this video because I couldn't find anything to help me do it. So maybe this video will help somebody figure this out.